Greetings all your comic book readers out there. Mike from Comic Frontline here. Welcome to my comic review from DC Comics. This is week four of Convergence. And I'll be reviewing Convergence Infinity Inc. issue number one of two. And I thought checking this out, um, I thought, uh, sounds like a great title. So I thought why not check it out and review it for the week four Convergence. So it starts off where, um, uh, the people of Infinity Inc. go to see a play, and I like the artwork, by the way, including what their powers were before, because the dome has already fallen on them, and they're powerless, because they're, you know, they uh, are no longer Infinity Inc. because of the dome that fell on them. So we get a little bit of a backstory of uh, who they were. Uh, they, uh, like, worked for the JSA, and um, they also uh, did many other things uh, as well. And, um, you know, they're trying to, uh, admit that they don't have powers anymore. And, uh, Jenny, who is the Green Lantern's daughter, goes to see her father, Henry, who is out cold and everything. So, uh, she gets him help and brings him over to, uh, Todd's house. And we get more of a, um, conversation between the both of them about, uh, um, Henry King, actually his name is, and, um, he's just talking about how, um, you know, the other Green Lantern, uh, Alan Scott, how he talked about them and really said that they, uh, she shouldn't, uh, that they shouldn't trust Jenny and everything. Like, basically it was a whole thing. You could definitely, uh, read the book. So, as we go to, uh, back at the Dome, as, uh, the other people are trying to use the solar array against the dome. The whole speech, yada yada, and they get their powers back. Now, the thing is, is that uh, that they got their powers back. Uh, they want to survive, and they have a plan of uh, how they can find out who they're battling. Because they don't know who they're going to battle yet. So, who they're going to battle, and this is a spoiler here, are uh, a group right here. That has uh, Starcade, um, Manta, um, Stiletta, and basically all the other people that are going against the uh, Infinity Inc. Now that they have their powers back. And they offered them to join together because of uh, what's going on. And instead, they just go into a fighting scene where they're going to begin to fight each other, basically against that other team so really interesting story I did leave out a bunch of stuff because I want you guys to read the book because um, it's a really interesting book rating I give for this book um, it's a mix between a 3.5 to 4 out of 5 star rating I mean there's no reason why it's lower than that it was a great story and I loved the artwork in this book and I thought it was pretty interesting to learn a little bit about Infinity Inc because Pre-New 52, I never actually read any Pre-New 52 comics, and this actually gave me more of a backstory of who they are. And I think that's good that in some comic books, they give us a backstory for those of us like me who didn't read Pre-New 52. So, this would definitely be a uh, book for you if you don't know who Infinity Inc. Uh, is or not. And uh, with that, guys, that's my uh, DC comic review of Convergence, Infinity Inc., issue number one of two. Uh, don't forget to check out Comic Relay, Comic Frontline, and Frontline Gaming Zone. Together we know one source for Comic Relay news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that subscribe bun button to Comic Frontline because we'll be covering all of Convergence, every single comic of Convergence that comes out. And comment below if you've been reading Convergence or this title especially. Things you like, things you didn't like, questions, or anything you want to say about the comic book, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. And to all your comic book readers out there, I'm Mike from Comic Frontline, and until next time, take care and keep watching. Later, everybody.